Hey everybody, I got a delicious recipe for you today. Pulled straight from the woods of West Virginia. I'm gonna be making deer tenderloin with ramp butter and grilled ramp mashed potatoes. Now we're gonna be using these ramps right here. I just got them a couple days ago, picked fresh, cleaned, bulbs uh, cut off by accidentally pulled a bulb out of the ground. And these potatoes, uh, unfortunately they are not West Virginia made, but um, that's okay. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get everything kind of cleaned up. So we've got the tenderloin here. It's ready to go. It's been sitting in the fridge defrosting for the last 24 hours. And we've got the potatoes here. Now the rams are already clean. So I'm just going to um, kind of move these to the side. It's not a big deal or anything like that, but we're gonna get the potatoes and we're gonna get them into the sink, clean them up a little bit. For anything I don't forage, I like to clean off with um, a little bit of uh, vegetable soap. So I'm gonna do that and then I will be right back and I'm gonna take care of this tenderloin as well. Okay, so we've got everything cleaned up. We've got the tenderloins here, obviously. We've got the veggies here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and season the meat and we're gonna let the potatoes dry a little bit more. Like I said, I didn't clean the ramps. So they're sitting there. We're gonna push all this to the side and we're gonna focus on this next. So once you get everything kind of plated out, patted dry, cleaned up, you're gonna wanna season your meat. Now, you can use whatever seasoning you like, but this time around, I'm actually gonna be using this special cedar ash seasoning from Lost Creek Farm here in West Virginia. It's about 45 minutes south of Morgantown, where I'm at right now. And I got it as part of a box service that Mike Costello and Amy Dawson of Lost Creek Farm put together in response to COVID-19, shutting down their uh, field to table dinners, uh, their farm dinners that they were going to host. You might know Lost Creek Farm. Uh, they were highlighted on Anthony Bourdain's show before he passed away. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this. It should cook up nicely. I've already tested it out a little bit, but it should uh, come out very, very well on that tender one. All right, so we've got the tenderloin set here. Like I said, we're gonna be using this, let me see if I can get in focus, this cedar ash from Lost Creek Farm. Now, like I said, this is something that Mike and Amy, um, they sent to us in a little gift box that they did. So um, I tried it already, it's really great. I just did a little t uh, test taste on it. Um, and it's great with venison. So we're not gonna overload it because it is pretty pretty strong. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to get a little in our palm here. And we're just gonna give it a good give it a good portion of it. We're gonna I apologize, I'm using one hand here. But we're going to uh, kind of just give it a good rub and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat. Now, if you're not gonna use all this, just keep in mind, I know this might seem kind of silly to say, but just keep in mind, don't stick your hands that just touched raw meat into the ash seasoning or any seasoning you're using. So once you got both sides going, just kind of get the sides of the tenderloin, kind of get in the grooves there a little bit and kind of just pick up some of the rest. And once you're done with that, you can set your seasoning to the side and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so moving right along, we are now going to take care of the veggies. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this off camera for the next few steps. Um, you're not gonna see many details just because um, I have very limited space in my kitchen. So you're gonna cut these potatoes into one inch cubes. You're going to cover them with salted water and you're going to bring that to a boil. You're then going to boil the potatoes for about 15 minutes. Um, or until fork tender. And while that's going on, you're going to split up your ramps and you're going to cut a few up for the butter and you're going to leave a few intact to grill. Uh, we're just gonna grill them with salt and pepper, nothing crazy. And uh, once all that's done, you're gonna put everything together pretty quickly. We're also gonna be grilling the venison. So 
I will get on this and show you guys what I can. Okay, so we've got the butter done and in the fridge, so it can solidify a little bit. We have got the tenderloins uh, seasoned. We are going to take them down to the grill and we're gonna get those going. And we're going to get the ramps, the leftover ramps uh, grilled up as well. So we can chop those up and throw them in the uh, mashed potatoes. Now, I saved a little bit of remnant um, bulbs and leaves from the ramps that I chopped up for the butter. I had too much. So I'm just going to throw those in to the mashed potatoes as well just to kind of use them up. Um, the grilled should kind of overtake the not grilled uh, ramps but you know don't want to waste anything so if you have leftovers just toss them in that or toss them on top of the um, you know the ramps just kind of as a garnish or the tender lines as a garnish. So I'm gonna go down and get this taken care of and we'll start plating when we're done. Okay, so everything's done, it's time to plate. This is what we've got rolling here. I'm trying not to drip it on the floor. Uh, it came out pretty much perfect, 140. Uh, I know a lot of people like to keep it around 135, which is 10 degrees uh, less than medium rare for like, you know, uh, beef steak. But, uh, it came out to 140. It looks delicious. It smells great. And we're going to plate it and then you'll see the final product. All right, we're going to give it a good cut here. Across the grain. It's looking good so far. Now you want to take care with tenderloin just because it is easily the finest piece of meat. You don't want to overcook it certainly don't want to undercook it. I know some people like it rare, but yeah, that's looking good. It's got a nice color to it. Got nice juices in there. So we're going to plate this real quick and you'll see the final product. All right. So we've got the meat and the potatoes on plate. I apologize for the little bit of a mess. We're just going to finish it off really quick. We're going to take some of this butter and just put it right there on top heat from the meat should start melting it pretty quickly. All that's going to get infused really well and after college I worked in a restaurant and really picked up some uh, things there that I'm very picky about now. I love my plating so we're just going to take an extra ramp leaf and stick it right there. And then naturally we're going to take some JQ Dickinson ramp salt, some finishing salt and we're just going to just barely drop it over top. And that's just gonna bring out some flavors more. It's gonna add a little more ramp flavor to everything. So that's it. That's the meal. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me just pull this a little bit closer so you guys can get a good look at it. And that's it guys. So. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna set it down, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's super easy. If you have some ramps, the hardest part uh, is getting the ramps and killing the deer. So, you know, hope this was something you guys enjoyed and definitely something I enjoyed. So take care, eat well, stay healthy, get out there and forage.